Good afternoon, um, CHSDA students. Um, my name is Jimmy Woody, and we're here to talk about community connections. So one community connection that we would love to talk about is somebody's going to lead us, and it's Mr. Lauer. And Mr. Lauer is going to tell us about his community connection. Hi, I'm Robert Lauer. I've been here uh, three quarters now doing 3D animation. I'm a game developer and I like to come in and teach about, you know, 3D animation, animation in general. And this course, this time, we're going to kind of touch a little bit on other subjects, as well as if you're a repeating 3D animator, you'll get to move on to the next stages of walk cycles, you know, dynamic poses. And then at the end of every class, we tend to like to watch a lot of animations that you probably haven't seen before. Good. Um, I always like to ask a question that's off the cuff. What do you love about 3D animation? Uh, it requires a lot less drawing. <laughs> it's, um, it's a lot easier. To, it's essentially like playing with action figures because you just get the character and you get to pose them very much like you would an action figure and then animate that. So if you don't like drawing, definitely do 3D animation. If you do like drawing, 3D animation. <laughs> Yes, thank you. So we're going to move right along, and we're going to talk to Mr. Grant about his community connection. Hello, everyone. I understand that my community connection says basketball, uh, which that is still the case. However, basketball will be done on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, most of you have already spoken with me about that. And there will be tryouts and then practices, which will be on Mondays and Wednesdays. So how do we feel the basketball boy. We are going to fill that with uh, Gentleman's Club, which this will be our second year doing the Gentleman's Club. Now we don't have to run into any problems with meetings because we can do it during connection time on Tuesdays and Thursdays now. Um, the Gentleman's Club is a group uh, that I started for the young gentlemen here within our building and within our school and community. Uh, within our club, we will do things such as community service, uh, we will talk about live events and uh, that's going on in society. Uh, we will also talk about how to carry ourselves as gentlemen and proper etiquette. Okay, nice, nice, good. I was going to ask you some questions, but you kind of covered everything. So really nice there, Mr. Grant. So we're going to turn it on over to Ms. Starks, and Ms. Starks is going to tell us about her community connection, and she brought a guest along with her to give assistance. So Ms. Starks, tell us about your community connection. Okay, so our community connection is geared toward uh, young girls, uh, somewhat as uh, Mr. Grant's, um, but we focus on young girls coming together um, to offer them motivation in a lot of different areas, such as um, from an academic standpoint, um, we have some other things that we want to focus on, such as teamwork and trust building, um, beauty essentials, um, just some of the things that young girls uh, need to know uh, as they're coming up. Um, we also want to just kind of have some fun, empowering games, things that would, you know, help young women gain confidence um, in their journey, whether that be college, whether that is um, just moving out into the working world. So. Um, there are a few different um, elements to this that we're going to touch on. Um, but I would like to say that in speaking with uh, Caitlin, we actually kind of brainstormed a little bit in terms of what our mission statement would be and what we wanted um, you girls to understand uh, the, the group to be about. So I'm going to let Caitlin kind of tell you a little bit about what the mission statement is and hopefully this will appeal to you. So um, basically, we just wanted to like bring the girls together to work as a team and like um, work on our trust and skills and while having fun at the same time, like we was going to work together. You can read your, she's going to read her mission statement that she came up with. Um, um, it's, it's long, so you can. Our plan is to create a mission statement for young women to engage in real friendships, to gain confidence within to understand morals and values of life, and most of all, to graduate. To graduate with the mindset of accomplishing goals to make, to be a successful part of society. 
Very good. So, um, so we're looking forward to having um, you young women be a part of this group. We know that it's going to be successful. Not only that, but a lot of energy. And um, just please let me know. We would love for you to be a part of it. Thank you. Really nice. So it sounds like there might be an opportunity, I don't know how well, an opportunity to collaborate between the men's club and the women's club. Y'all yeah. will decide what that negotiation is. Yeah. All right, so we're about to go take a break, and then we're about to bring three more or possibly four more community connections here for us to talk about. So let's thank Mr. Lauer. Clap, 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 clap. Yeah, I love this live studio audience. Let's thank Mr. Grant. Let's thank Ms. Starks and Caitlin. Did I say right? And Caitlin. Oh, I actually remember names. So thank you and stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, we're back here. My name is Jimmy Woody. Hey, we're back here. My name is Jimmy Woody, and we're here to talk about community connections here at the High School for Digital Arts. So one group, one group that is not going to be with us here today to speak on behalf of their community connection is City Breaks. So City Breaks is, is a group that involves like break dances. So if you got pop lockers, hey, can every, everybody right here do the robot real quick for me? <laughs> So if you want to do stuff better than that, please join City Breaks because we're no good. Thank you. <laughs> we're broke. 
<laughs> so yeah, so please join City Breaks with Mr. Santana, and he will definitely, or they will be definitely here to work with you on break dancing. But we're gonna move right along, and our next person is Sherry Renee, and she's going to speak about her community connection. So, Sherry. Thank you, Jimmy. Hello, uh, High School of the Digital Arts. You probably remember me from all of the fashion design programs that we've been doing here and all of the budding designers and entrepreneurs that have been uh, popping up here at the school. So this quarter, we want to think a lot. We're actually going to be thinking in fabric and we're going to think about all the different things that we can make, how we use uh, different fabrics to create garments and clothing, and getting a little bit, taking a deeper dive into the skill building around pattern design, construction, and actually bringing our creations to life. We got a lot of creativity, I know, in our students, and so we want to just take it a little bit further and really embed some really strong sewing skills. And you may have noticed the school actually invested in some really fantastic sewing machines uh, this year. So it was pretty exciting to see that. So if you haven't worked on them yet and are interested to do that, this is gonna be the class for you. Oh, that's awesome. So Ms. Sherry Renee, will we have a fashion show by the end of this Community Connection? Well, I think that's gonna be up to the students. We're gonna have to see. We always try to set really you know, ambitious goals by the end. So. I think we'll leave it to them to decide. Okay. So for those that love Project Runway, definitely join Sherry Renee's uh, Community Connection so you can do exciting fashions just like that television show. All right. So we're going to move right along. And our next person, and I love trying to say this person's last name, it's Bob Growlnick. Yep. You got Did the I L in the end. You yes. got it, man. Thank you. So, Bob, please tell us about your Community Connection. As he said, I'm Bob Gromick, and I'm from Progressive Arts Alliance. This is the first time that we have been at uh, the High School for Digital Arts. We're doing a stop motion animation uh, residency. We're going to be using laser cutting and 3D printing. Students who participate in this are going to be learning the fundamentals of using Tinkercad and working that into 3D printed models as well as laser cut pieces. Then they're going to be taking those models that they've used and developed and turning it into a stop motion animation. And actually, Jimmy, we brought in a video of an exemplar piece of the types of things that we're going to be doing. Oh, great, great. Oh, do we have that video so we can cut to it? Exciting. So we're going to cut to that video real quick. So we'll be right back. Wasn't that an awesome video? I love that video. Bob is going to tell us a little bit more about his community connection. Yeah, that video is a perfect example of what is of what is possible doing this type of a, of this community connection. That's exactly how the thing you just saw was made. We're going to be working and striving hard to create things of almost a professional quality. And this is gonna give you the background that if you want to eventually take this to another level, you'll have skill with the very things that artists were using in order to create just those things you saw in that video. So if you're interested in that and you're excited, join this community connection, it'll be a great time. Thanks. Wow, thank you, Bob. That sounds very great. 
Um, so we're going to move right along. We're going to talk to Jim Gill here, and he's going to tell us about his community connection. So, Jim, tell us a little bit about your community connection. Uh, I'm here representing uh, myself and Mr. Chronister, and we are part of Dragon's Breath. Uh, the students create a, a literary magazine, and uh, this this go around, this actually will be our fifth edition. Um, I thought it was a fourth, but Mr. Chronister said fifth, and he knows more than I do. Um, it's also, he was voted uh, third coolest teacher on the fourth floor, so it's got that going for him. Um, <laughs> could be true. Uh, but this time around, last uh, we always ask the students to come up with their own um, their own theme. Uh, our la uh, we've had dragons and uh, fantasy um, dragons and gosh, I should know this. So it's part of it, right? Anyway, the students <laughs> get to choose their own themes. Uh, but we, I was asked to uh, put out a plea for writers, storytellers, uh, science fiction, fantasy, uh, poets. Anybody who's interested in writing, we have a lot of artists that tend, and illustrators that tend to take the class, and we do essentially like a graphic novel, or uh, the literary magazine has a lot of artwork in it, along a lot of the artists do their own writing. We've had collaborative uh, efforts too, where some of the writers hook up with an illustrator and create uh, a piece uh, to include in the magazine. Uh, and then at the end of the term, we always have a uh, printed editions that you know get circulated school-wide. So really it's for people who enjoy writing, storytelling, and for artists, um, I know one of the, the 3D animator was talking about uh, just before uh, I came on, they were talking about um, the need for um, artists and people who enjoy drawing to figure draw. Uh, this is a class where you could get some figure drawing um, uh, experience um, to help aid your the growth of your illustration. So um, Dragon's Breath, will be entering its fifth edition in this semester, and we look forward to anybody, any student that was interested in writing or drawing stories. Oh yeah, that's awesome, Dragon's Breath. They need writers, so please join Dragon's Breath. So uh, we're gonna cut, we're gonna take a short break, and we're gonna bring four other or three other people out here. But before we leave, can, can my guests give jazz hands? And we're out.
Hey, it's here. I'm Mr. Woody back here at Digital Arts High School talking about our community connections. So one person that couldn't be with us today, but they will definitely be back for their community connection is uh, Mr. Augusto that does mural making. So there's an awesome mural in the hallway that it's kind of, it's in the process of being done. So he needs more people to enlist so you can finish this awesome mural and making our school look really awesome. So if you're interested in being in part of the mural um, artwork for that community connection, please join mural making. All right, so with people that are alive that are right here, and Augusto is still alive too, but we're gonna talk about high stepping and somebody here is gonna introduce themselves. Please introduce yourself. Okay, um, my name is Shariah Brown, and I've been a high stepper for two years, and it's basically like this girl dance group, and we do high stepping with a mixture of like majorette dancing, and we need like more girls to join. We got like seven girls probably now, so we need more girls, and it's real fun. Like the coach, she's really cool too, and during our three-week break, we actually go to her studio and dance, and it's like real fun. It's like chill and we exercise when we first get in there like if you really want to like be in shape and like have like girls like it's just like a real good team so just join if you want to yes be a high stepper go for it thank you very much thank you Shariah give me five Shariah awesome job so next we're going to talk to Mr. Lewis and he's going to tell us about his interesting community connection oh yeah so, uh, the first one I'm going to talk about real quick is Homework Club. Woo! That sounds fun, right? Oh, okay, my bad. So, yeah, Homework Club. Uh, this is going to just be like a place where you can um, just catch up on some homework. It's just like a nice, quiet uh, place to really kind of get, like, get your grades up and so forth. So, um, I know it sounds kind of lame, but like honestly, like it could be like a really good tool for you guys um, to really get caught up and all that. Uh, secondly, I'm going to be offering a club with uh, Mrs. Schmidt. Uh, it's going to be called the Literary Legends, uh, where we're going to be diving into some really um, awesome books. Um, I think we're going to try out some graphic novels, like some comic books, things like that. Um, and we're just going to, you know, have some fun reading. Wow, that sounds awesome. Walking yeah. Dead is one of my favorite graphic novels. Doesn't mean that you have to read that in his community connection, <laughs> but just to tie that in. So, sounds very awesome. Give me a high five Should on be, that. Yes. Story. Awesome job. So now we're going to swing back to our wonderful young people, and they're going to tell us a little bit about student government. And the person that's going to speak for us is Mario. Mario, tell us a little bit about student government. You just can't sit up here on this couch and just be a pretty face. Come on, man. Tell us. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is homecoming. Homecoming will be Friday, October the 27th. It is 4 to 6 p.m., $5 pre-sale, $7 at the door, informal, not dress up. If you want to bring somebody that does not go to this school, please talk to Miss Mays. Um, the theme is glow in the dark, and you should dress in neon and white colors. Okay, hello. I'm a part of student government also, and I'm going to tell you what we do in student government. We basically plan dances, do fundraisers, and student activities. We haven't done anything so far, but it, it's a lot to look forward to. Like, we're in the process of doing many different things. And next week will also be Spirit Week. Spirit week. Tomorrow, you will see, like, posters around the school because that's what they're doing now. And it will let you know that Monday is Make Yourself at Home PJ Day. So you can wear PJs to school. Oh, Every day it's a dollar a day to dress down also, and it will be going towards the dance. And we will like say who um, have the best PJs, so you'll probably get into homecoming for free if you have the best PJs on. And Tuesday is homies day, so you can dress like a friend. So basically like twins day, you know. And Wednesday is hometown day, so you basically represent Cleveland. You wear like Cavs gear, Browns gear, anything Cleveland represented. And we don't have school Thursday. Yay. And Friday is homecoming dress in white or neon clothes. So look forward to next week. Okay, thank you. So on the PJ day, please make that appropriate. Okay, and um, I'm sure you I'll, I'll even try to bring my PJs too. Um, but like, let's support our student government. What are your roles in student government? Are, do you have like a role like 
<laughs> treasurer, president, they laugh. Wow. <laughs> they laughing at me right now. I'm trying to figure that one out. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Mario is public relations. So public relations. That's what Mario is. And I don't know what I am, but I'm somebody. So. You You're a historian. Oh, I'm historian. Yes. So I'm public relations, Mario, and Shariah is historian. And Terrence, he's vice president. And our president of the school is Michael. And our... Okay, well, we got other people. That's so, fine. You know. Yeah, but support our student government because they, they are trying to do awesome things for our high school. So please support them. Great job. Give me five, you two youngins. <laughs> Bam. You're on the black hand side. I like that. All right, next, we're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk to Mr. Fields, and he's going to tell us about his community connection. All right. Um, so we're doing Newsreel again. And uh, just like we've been doing this broadcast here, uh, we're also going to be working with WKYC on a project where we will be going out and uh, filming and interviewing several people in the community. Um, there will be field trips, things like that. Um, we won't be doing as many broadcasts as we have been doing every single week because we'll be going out and doing all these uh, things. But if this is something you're interested in, you want to get into more um, uh, filmmaking or uh, uh Documentary. Docu yeah, documentary style filmmaking, things like that. Um, this will be a part of that. So that's what we'll be doing in Newsreel. So if there's something you're interested in, uh, we'll be happy to have you. We need responsible people that will be a part of a team because we'll be doing a little bit of traveling. We can't like sit here and wrangle 20 people in. So no. please make it very productive people. And I'm sure all of y'all are going to be productive in all of your community connections. Exactly. But um, somebody just flown in. And so when after this break... I'm going to bring this person back out and they're going to tell us about their community connection. And it is Augusto talking about mural making. And I think he can do a better job at talking about his community connection than I did. All right. So with that said and done, please give me a pound, my guest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, he made it explode. And pow. See y'all in a minute. Thank you very much.
Oh, okay, we're back. My name is Jimmy Woody here to talk about community connections here at the High School for Digital Arts. And whoa, we got this person back. So I talked about him, but he's alive and kicking and he's here to talk to us about his mural making community connection. So introduce yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Augusto Bordelois. I forget about the last name. Uh, I'm a professional artist and I'm going to be working uh, pretty much painting the mural that we draw on the wall last time. So uh, it is a kind of different process than what we did last quarter. Mm. I would like some of the students that were involved in creating the mural to paint the mural if they want to come back. Uh, the thing is that this part, you need a little bit more skill mm. and you need to respect pretty much the work that the, we're going to be working by uh, different kind of project, like somebody's going to be working in the background and this color, so it needs a lot of respect of what is that the other person was doing, so not mess up the work that it w was done before. Right. So, a little bit of a skill, but if you know how to paint your room, pretty much it's the same thing. Yeah, so you bad people that use uh, crayons and go outside the lines, I'm sorry, I don't think he wants that type no, of No, not outside the line. So, yeah, he wants somebody that have skills, but you guys should also want to finish what you started, so please join um, Augusto's Community Connection, uh, and that's in mural making. Is there anything else that you wanted to share? Uh, from the first day, they have to be uh, with clothes that they're going to get messed up because they're going to get messed up. Shoes that they can get messed up. Everything, you're going to get paint on you, you're going to get paint on your friend, and you're going to get paint on the wall, I hope. Right, yeah. Put the paint on the wall, not on your friend, yeah. not on the floor, yeah. not on clothes. But please bring clothes to wear for that community connection. And I think it's making our hallways look a heck of a lot better. So thank you, Augusto. Yep. Appreciate you. Um, this next person, and I see her out the corner of my eye getting ready. We're going to talk to Miss Boffman, and she's going to tell us about her community connection. Miss Boffman, can you tell us about your community connection? Uh, my community connection is called Nat on Our Watch. Um, we're continuing from the first quarter um, where we're making a second edition of our book, Humans of CHSDA. Let me hold that for you. This is from last year. Um, we are working on making a second edition. So we have lots of photos and stories that we've gathered um, in the first quarter, but we're going to work on taking more pictures and getting more stories. Um, our focus is also anti-bullying, um, just kind of getting to know classmates and finding out things that they didn't know about them before. Nice. And you guys actually make these books? Not make them, but you get them printed? We're going to get it printed. Wow. These, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, so they, do they take the pictures too as well? Mm -hmm. So we learn um, about photography, lighting, posing, backgrounds, taking creative angles. Wow. We're so creative here at Digital Arts High School. This is wonderful <laughs> stuff. So, yes, please join Ms. Boffman in her wonderful community connection. Is there anything else that you wanted to share, Ms. Boffman? Um, no, I think that's all. Join her community connection. Thank you very much. Uh, before we do the Q&A, I'm just going to do a little quick edit. Everyone still listening here. Could you tell all the kids that are watching right now to go ahead and start voting for which community connection they want to be in while you still interview everybody? Because right now they need to vote. All right, we need to vote, but we got to get these other community co connections in. Then these wonderful people don't even get to mention theirs. But do start voting. But there's still two others that we got to hear from. Miss Ambrose, can you tell us about your community connection? Absolutely. Um, my name is Miss Ambrose, and uh, my community connection this quarter is called Quilting Patterns. Um, so it's a really exciting new community connection. Uh, we're going to be um, being creative, we're going to be working with patterns and we're going to be creating quilts. Um, so quilting is a really cool art. Um, it involves a little bit of geometry, but mostly it involves creativity um, and being able to tell your stories. And there's a really rich history in America and in black history of quilting tradition. So I'm really excited about this community connection. Nice. I love, I love how it morphed from one thing to the other, but now it is wonderful quilt making. So thank you, Miss Ambrose. I just want to get this last person in. You said Reach. So I'm going to introduce Mr. Reachy. And I, I used my hand, and he's going to beat me up for that one. But he's going to tell us about his community connection. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here as part of this distinguished panel. My name is Mr. Reachy, and I'm going to be doing a community connection about origami. Origami is the art of paper folding. And it has a lot of 
That's right, mathematics and geometry. I hope you enjoy ge uh, geometry, and I hope that you'll join me for doing origami community connection. Nice. Can I see the Can I see okay. the org the Absolutely. model? Didn't so you bring another one too? Yeah, we have uh, a cube, a and then two other polyhedra, larger ones. Mm -hmm. Polyhedra. So we'll be making things like this. Nice. It uses geometry. I like it. Mm -hmm. I love it. And the art of paper folding, origami. Yes, wonderful. So thank you, Miss Boffman. Give me a pound, Miss Boffman. Psh. Thank you, Augusto. Don't look at me like that, man. Pound. Give me a pound. Give me a pound, Miss Ambrose. Psh. And Mr. Ricci, give me a pound. Psh. Thank you guys very much. And please vote because we only have so much time and we got to get all of you guys involved in all of our wonderful community connections. My name is Jimmy Woody. We got a wonderful guest. Please join the community connection and we'll see you next Tuesday. All right. Thank you very much and have a safe afternoon.